whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmary thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thy be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepping down before me. And Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Mm -hmm. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day. It is not lawful for thee to carry the bed. And he answered them, He that made me whole, same said unto me, take up thy bed and walk. Yeah. Then asked them, asked they him, what man is that which said unto thee, take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed was not who it was. For Jesus had conveyed him himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus finded him in the temple and said unto him, behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more least a worse thing come upon thee. And the man departed and told the Jew that it was Jesus which had made him whole. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Precious Father God in heaven, we come into your presence right now, Lord God. As our humble servant, Lord God, and as that children, O Father God, of the Most High God. We ask now, Father, that you just take over this place. Take over my life, take over my being, O Father God, and take over, Lord God, my speech. That I may speak a word, O oh Father God, for such a time as this, that somebody, Lord God, who's listening could be healed, could be delivered, and could be set free. Lord, allow me now to decrease as you increase, O oh Father God, that only you be seen yes. and only you be heard. Open up the hearts and minds and ears, O oh Father God, of the listeners of this word, that, Father God, you, Lord God, will be magnified and manifest in their life. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. If you will, pray with me for a little while as I speak to you from the subject matter. A new year do over. A new year do over. Oh, brothers and sisters, I know there have been many times in our lives when we have said some things and done some things that when we look back over our lives, we can say, I wish I would have done it a little different. I wish I would have said that a little bit different, been a little bit more thoughtful or been a little bit more kind. We, we, we take for granted sometimes that the things that we have an opportunity to say and the things that we have an opportunity to do, we can just do it our way. Mm -hmm. But sometimes doing it our way is not the right way. Right. So that's why we would ask ourselves, hallelujah, to have a do-over. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because once you stop and think about it, what you said and what you've done, with clarity, you always assess the situation from a different angle. Mm -hmm. You always have a viewpoint, a different viewpoint of what it is that you could have said or what it is that you could have done a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. It happens in relationships. It happens in marriages. Amen? It happens in parenting. It happens on a job. And it even happens in friendship. Hallelujah. It happens in the church. It happens even in the body of Christ. Sometimes we get beside ourselves. Sometimes we just, just blab off at the mouth. And sometimes we act upon emotions. And sometimes we just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Saying if it feels good, do it. But feeling good isn't always the right thing to do. We have to be mindful. We have to be conscientious on what we're saying. We have to be mindful and conscientious, brothers and sisters, on what we're doing because the things that we say and the things that we do, it impacts other people's lives. Yeah. They used to have a thing in the saying years ago, but you don't hardly hear it. people say it no more, that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words never hurt. Mm -hmm. Words do hurt. Words, they, they, they transpire. They alter. Mm -hmm. they, they change the direction, of course, in people's lives. That's what words do. That's what, when you're not being thoughtful and that's when you're not being sensitive in your speech or do or, or in, um, you're acting irrational in your behavior. 
this is what happened. You, you alter the course of other people's lives. Mm. But today, brothers and sisters, in this new year, no matter what that happened in your life, no matter what that transpired in your life, God has brought us over into 2022. Yes. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. We're thankful to God for that. But this year, brothers and sisters, I want you to know, I want you to understand, and I want you to realize that today you have an opportunity for a duo. Yes. You have an opportunity for Jesus to wipe your slate clean. You have an opportunity to right all the wrong. You have an opportunity to just go back and start anew. Yes. Create in me a clean heart, Lord God. Renew in me a right spirit. Mm -hmm. That should be your battle cry right now. As God decided to, 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 to just wipe it clean, he decided to give you new mercies today. Mm -hmm. Just knowing that God is able, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. But we, we thank God today that this is the year that he has given us. And this is the year to, to have some new resolutions. Yes. This is the year to have some new outlook. This is the year to have some new visions and new dreams and new thoughts. And this is the year to be able to have a new you. A new me. Amen? Amen? Different attitude, different mindset. The way we talk, let us be more thoughtful. The way we, we act, let us be more careful in our doing. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. But God hadn't just started doing do over. The, the terminology may have just come to, to, to light, but God has been doing do overs for a long time. Yes, he, he has been allowing men and women the opportunity to get it right for many years. Mm -hmm. Amen? And even from the beginning of man existence, God had an opportunity to give a man named Cain a do-over. Amen? But today we'll look at two different instances where God gave do-overs. Although they are different in circumstances, we'll see that the outcome would be the same. And I do believe, brothers and sisters, God in his infamous wisdom knew that even man or even woman situation or circumstance wouldn't be the same. Mm -hmm. God knew that every situation, he knew that every circumstance would be different. He knew that everybody won't always act the same and behave the same. That's why God made us unique mm -hmm. in our own likeness. Yeah. That's why God gave you fingerprints different from everybody else because he wanted to differentiate you one from another, distinguish you one from another. So in that being said, Let's look at the text. Walk with me, if you will, around the word. Hallelujah. Here in our text this morning, John, the apostle, is the writer. And John tells of a healing miracle Jesus performed in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And now the word of God said that it was by a sheep market and a pool called Bethesda. Mm -hmm. And I know many times when this passage of scripture is read, it's mainly focusing on how the man who just stayed there for all those years, how he uh, didn't really fight to move himself from one place to another. The Bible doesn't really clearly state what the man's condition was. It just said that he was impotent. Amen? Mm -hmm. And John, the writer of our text, doesn't even give this man a name, for he said, a certain man. Mm -hmm. Amen? So therefore, brothers and sisters, put yourself in that man's place this morning. Put yourself in a position where you have your infirmities, where you have your iniquities, where you have your impotent circumstances. Put yourself there and say, how long have you been doing something that you know have been out of order? How long have you been sitting by the pool of Bethesda? How long have you been sitting by the pool of grace? How long have you been sitting by the pool of mercy? How long have you been there in that pot, in that position, in that spot, in that one place, spinning your wheels in the mud, so to speak, waiting for somebody to come along to give you a helping hand to get out of your situation and your circumstances? Yeah, but blessed be to God this morning, brothers and sisters, hallelujah. This word of God tells us that in this situation, how, how they waited there and how the angels would come at a certain season of the year. And that they would go down into the water to trouble the water. And whosoever steps in would be made whole of whatsoever disease they had. Yeah. But brothers and sisters, I tell you this morning that we, the children, the body of Christ, the children of God, whether you're in Christ or out of Christ, you're still a child of the Most High King. 
Yeah. Hallelujah. The angels have come this morning. The waters have been troubled. Amen. Hallelujah. Your spirit should be troubled right now. When you're going through, your spirit is troubled. You can't be at peace when you have a lot of turmoil. You can't be at peace when you're conflicted within yourself. Hallelujah. So the angels are coming this morning to trouble the waters. All you have to do, brothers and sisters, is step right on in. On. God has made a way. God has made provisions. God has altered the course of this day just for you and just for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. We are to rejoice and be glad in it, but we can't rejoice in infirmities. You can't rejoice in iniquities. You can't rejoice in your transgressions. You can't be joyful. Hallelujah. You make it be happy, but you'll never be joyful. Amen? Glory right. be to God. Hallelujah. So we see where here in the Bible says that there lay a great multitude of impotent folks. Hallelujah. There were people all around this pool. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, there are people all around us right now that are impotent. Hallelujah. There are people all around us that, that can't function well. They're, they're dysfunctional. There are families all around us that, 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 that are dysfunctional. There, there, there are circumstances all around us that, that are dysfunctional. They're impotent. They're not working and operating the way God created them to do so. So so, so, so we have impotent people at the pool, hallelujah. We have blind people at the pool, whether they were born blind or for some situation or circumstance, lost their sight. They're at the pool, hallelujah. hallelujah. And we say they have hope people at the pool. Hope means that they have people at the pool that just stop. They can't even move anymore. They can't do anything anymore. Oh, brothers and sisters, we know people like that in life. People just to stop. They're just giving up their Thrown in a towel, they said enough of this life is enough, and yet they still breathe, and yet they still live, and yet they yeah. still have in their yeah. men, but yeah. their hope they just come to a complete stop. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the word of God says that there were withered people, hallelujah, at the pool. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I, I read this text before, but, but God just opened up my eyes to all these people that was around the pool. He took my focus just off of the one man, but look at all the people that was around this pool. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at all the people that are around in our communities. Look at all the people that are in our neighborhood. Look at all the people that are on our job. Look at all the people that God has introduced into your life. How many of them that are wilted? Hallelujah. How many of them that are drying up? Hallelujah. How many of them that have something that's wrong with them? Hallelujah. We can clearly see it in the natural and hallelujah. We should be able to see it in the divine spirit with clarity what these people are going to. But many times we are often oftentimes we overlook what these people are dealing with. Amen. Amen. Because we're so focused on our own life. We're so focused on our own situation. We're so focused on our own circumstances. We, 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 we fail to look at other people. Glory be to God. They say all these people around, they're waiting for the moving of the water. Glory be to God, brothers and sisters. The waters are moving this morning. The waters are moving in the divine order of things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on into the pool. Glory yeah, be to God. Yeah, yeah. Don't wait for somebody to bring you to the pool. Yeah. Fight your way to the pool. Yeah. Crawl. Yeah. Wiggle your way. Do yeah. whatever you have to do, but yeah. get in the water. Yeah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory. And then John, the writer, hallelujah, of this text. Hallelujah. John says, hallelujah. In the same word, he says that a certain man, hallelujah, was there who had an infirmity for 30 and 8 years. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, that's a long time. To be in a situation. Yes. That's a long time to be in a circumstance. That's a long time to live with, with something that may be antagonizing. Mm -hmm. You know, hallelujah. How long have you lived with something that antagonized you? How long have you lived with the guilt? How long have you lived with the shame? Hallelujah. How long have you lived in disparity? Amen. How long? 30 and 8 years this man sat there. Every year wondering, I don't know how many times the angels came and troubled the water throughout the course of the year. He said, for a season. Yeah. I don't know if the season was one day, one week, one month. Mm -hmm. I don't know when the season was, but he sat there for 30 and 8 years. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus saw him lying there, hallelujah, and knew the word of God saying Jesus knew that he had been there for a long time. Now, brothers and sisters, realize and understand that the text doesn't say Jesus had already met this man before. 
It doesn't say that they were introduced before. They don't say that Jesus came across them somewhere before. The word of God doesn't even say that Jesus had passed by the bull of Bethesda on many occasions. But somehow Jesus knew that he had been there for a long time. Yeah. Oh, brothers and sisters, I come to tell you this morning that Jesus knows that you have been in your situation yes. in a long time. He knows that you've been in your circumstance a long time. For he made you, he created you, he knew all about you. Jesus, hallelujah, saw this man yes. at the pool. Glory be to God. And he said, in this case, he said, hallelujah, I've been here a long time, but Jesus tells him, would thou be made whole? Glory be to God. Uh -huh. See, that's the place. Yes. That, that, therein lies where the rubber meets the road right there, brothers and sisters. If, if you really want to be made whole this morning, if you really want to change to come in your life this morning, you'll get in the pool. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Jesus is asking you this morning. He's asking me, would I be made whole? Hallelujah. Would you, do you want this do-over this morning? Do you want another opportunity yeah, yeah, this yeah, morning? Yeah. Do you want to wipe the slate clean and start afresh? Start anew, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yeah, you may look like you're the same on the outside when it's all over, saying and done, but there'll be a transformation on the inside. Yeah. There'll be a renewing of your mind, hallelujah. Yeah. There'll be a new vision inside of your sight, glory be to God. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 And look what Jesus tells us, man. He said, rise, take up thy bed and walk. Yes. But in the verse, hallelujah, something very important took place. Hallelujah. Down in the 14th verse. It said, after Jesus had told him all this and after the man had made excuses for himself. Hallelujah. Many times Jesus had been presented to us. Mm. Many times Jesus has been uh, preached to you. Many times prayers have been prayed for you. Hallelujah. But you have made excuse after excuse after excuse. Amen. About why you won't come to Jesus or why you won't leave the world alone or why you won't walk away from sin or why you won't stop the, the thing that you're doing that you know are not healthy for you. You know it that's not good for you. But, but because the stronghold has you bound, could it be to God? Hallelujah. You won't even take up your bed and walk. Glory be to God. You, yes. you seem as though you've gotten comfortable yeah. in your position. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, a change frightens some people. But, but in order to grow in Christ, in order to be in the body of Christ, brothers and sisters, a change has to come. Yes. You, you can't keep doing the same thing, as my pastor say, and getting the same result and thinking you're making progress. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. He, he say, I believe he say, that's ignorance. Mm -hmm. nah. Hallelujah. That, that's foolishness. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But 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 he says in that verse, Jesus says the 14th verse, after the man had taken up his uh, bed and walked, and after the, the, the Jews have questioned the man, then Jesus go, this man, after he got healed, and after Jesus had delivered him, this man just didn't go back home. Mm -hmm. he, he, he just didn't go to his friend's house. He just didn't go doing all the things he wished he could have done. Hallelujah, while he was laying there. I'm quite sure a thousand things, a million things may have come across his mind. But yet later in the scripture, in the 14th verse, afterwards, Jesus finds him in the temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, brother, sister, when Jesus blesses you, when Jesus heals you, when Jesus delivers you, when Jesus brings a change on your life, don't just go anywhere. Yeah. Bring yourself on back to the house of the Lord. Yeah. Let Jesus find you in the house of the Lord. Don't yeah. get your blessing and come out of the hospital. Don't get your blessing and come out the bed of affliction. Don't get your breakthrough and stay at home. No, find your way to the temple of God. Yeah. Yeah. Find you. You don't have to come to Mount Zion Faith Ministry, but go somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let Jesus find you in the house. But Jesus said something to this man. That struck me when I started thinking about the new year. When I started thinking about how people make resolutions and they don't always uphold them. Resolution. But then Jesus said something in his word. And that's what brought me to this word. That's what brought me to the text. That's what stirred up this word inside of my spirit. And then Jesus said to the man in the 14th verse. He said, behold, thou made whole. He said, but sin no more. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Sin no more. Hey. Now the word of God doesn't say that that a, whatever sin this man had done, mm -hmm. whatever transgression this man had done to get him by the pool for 38 years, but apparently there must have been some sin in this man's life. Uh -huh. This man must have done something. Hallelujah. This certain man had done something. I had done some things in my life. 
And I know that sin altered my course. And oh, brothers and sisters, I know that you have done some things in your life. And sin has altered your course. But God is telling us today, I'm going to give you a do-over. Hallelujah. But sin, no more. No more. Hallelujah. Now that's impossible. That's the unimaginable. Yeah. That's the unthinkable. When we're in the flesh and no man, hallelujah, ha ha has been able to overcome sin but Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. But realize, brother, so the word of God said that, hey, no temptation has seized you except that it's common to man. Yeah. Glory be yeah. to God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God tells us that, hey, in our flesh, glory be to God, he said, when your flesh yields to temptation and have its own way, then it springs forth death. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, that's what happened to this man. Death came upon him in a form of sickness. Mm -hmm. Death came upon him in a form of disease. Hallelujah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, death will come upon you in a form of lack mm -hmm. when you begin to sin and sin too much. God going to only let us have so much rope, then he's going to yank that rope. Glory be to God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But God tells this man, hallelujah, he tells him, sin no more, at least a worse thing come unto thee. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. I'm, I'm giving you a chance now. I'm giving you a chance to take up your bed and walk. I'm giving you a do-over right here. I'm giving you an opportunity to go and wipe your slate clean. Yeah. But I tell you this, hallelujah, you better go and sin no more. If you don't, something worse is going to come up yeah. on you. Yeah. 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 But it's just, that's frightening right there. Mm -hmm. That's scary to me right there, mm -hmm. knowing that I've been bound for 38 years. Mm -hmm. I've been bound for 58 years. Mm -hmm. I've been bound for 68 years, mm -hmm. 78 years, 80 years. But if I, if I, if I don't if I don't stop I sinning, stop something it. worse is going to come up on me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a word the nation better hear. That's yeah. a word the nations better hear right there. Mm -hmm. We better stop all that sinning. We better stop all that foolishness. Mm -hmm. We better stop all that rambling and foolish yeah. babbling for something worse is going to come up on this world. Mm -hmm. This COVID plague that we're going through, it's just that. It's just a plague because of sin. Hallelujah. Yeah. But if we don't stop in our sin, if we don't stop in our transgression, if we don't stop in our iniquity, mm -hmm. something worse gonna come. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Then John tells of another do-over in chapter 8. Hallelujah. John tells about a woman that was brought to Jesus who was caught in the very act of adultery. Uh, I'm not gonna read the text. You read it in your own leisure, but uh, I'm gonna tell the story as it was in my spirit. Hallelujah. And then the scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, hallelujah, glory be to God. We have caught this woman in the very act, glory be to God. He said, then John said that the, the scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned, hallelujah. And Jesus just looked at him. And I'm quite sure Jesus observed everybody who was there. And he took a, a, a mental a, 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 a photograph of each one of them. And so then the Bible tells me that Jesus began to write down in the dirt. It said that he stooped down and began to write. And I do believe in my own spiritual imagination. I'm not speaking for Jesus, but I'm using my spiritual imagination. That I believe that when Jesus started writing, he started listing the names of the person there. And beside him, he started naming their sins. And while Jesus was doing that, these people kept on taunting Jesus about this woman. And they kept aggravating Jesus about this woman. Then Jesus stood up and asked them, if any among you who haven't sinned, let him cast the first stone. Yeah. Then Jesus went back down and started writing some more. Yeah. And he started listening to other sins that they have. Whole oh, brothers and sisters, stop bringing other people's accusations before the Lord. Look within your own self, hallelujah. Yeah, Clean around your own front door before you try to sweep around mine. Yeah. Glory be to God. Get your house in order first. Yeah. Glory be to God. Then when you've gotten your house in order, when you've gotten the, the, the plank out of your eye, as the word of God said, then you can remove the speck from somebody else's eye. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Mind your own business like the Lord of God said. Mm -hmm. Live a quiet life and mind your own business. Yeah. Yeah. Do your own thing in the will of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But Jesus just kept on writing. Hallelujah. And then Jesus lifted himself up and said that there be without sin. Let him cast the first stone. Yeah. And, and then Jesus does something very important here. He asked the woman, he said, where, woman, where are thy accusers? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. She said, they're all gone. Glory be to God. Yeah. Now, the Lord did not neither do a uh, 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 claim here 
But what he said to this woman, I'm not going to condemn you not. But he tells her the same thing with a different situation. A man was sick. This woman is called in adultery. And sure, she was right according to the law of Moses. Surely they had a dead to wrong according to the law of Moses. But brothers and sisters, let me tell you something this morning. When, when, when facts mean truth, mm -hmm. hallelujah, facts don't hold up the truth. Amen. Because Jesus is the way, the truth, Amen. and the life. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. When you bring facts before God, mm -hmm. when you bring a uh, 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 people's situation before God, when you bring people's circumstances before God, God is the truth. All God going to see is the good in a man and a woman that you bring before him. All he's going to see is the righteousness and the holiness yeah. because he's looking at you through his blood. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That God look through his blood. All he sees you is in your holy of holy. All he sees you in your righteousness of righteousness. He knows you may have sinned. God knows I've sinned more time than I like to acknowledge. Hallelujah. God knows you have sinned. I've thought about things that have been horrible. I've done some things that I wish I could go back and have a do-over. But thank God this morning, I got my do-over. Hallelujah. This woman have her do-over because Jesus told her, go and sin no more. Go and be the God. Oh, brother and sister, we got to be able to know that we know that we know, hallelujah, that Jesus is alive and well. Amen. Amen. We got to know that we serve an awesome Amen. God. We got to know that we have a God who forgives us. Yes. Glory yes. be to God. Yes. No matter man, never forgive you. Thank That's why you. I can't understand this, this penal system we have, this, this, this legal legislation that we have. Mm. Men and women go off and do all their time. They, they pay for their crime. Mm. They come out and you won't give them a job. Mm. All you do is continue to persecute them. Yeah. But brothers and sisters, I'm letting you know right now, Jesus ain't like that. No. God no. ain't like that. No. He's here forgiving God. He's a kind God. Yes, he's a compassionate God. Yes. He's a loving God. Yes. Jesus yes. will forgive you. Hallelujah. Yes, All you got to do is be willing to take up your bed and walk. Yes. All you got to do yes. is be willing to turn from your wicked way. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus in both instances says, go and sin no, no more. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And Jesus was not speaking of sinless perfection. He was speaking, hallelujah, a warning against a return to a sinful lifestyle choice. Yes, yes, hallelujah. Yes. That's what we have to be mindful of, brothers yes. and sisters, that we don't return to sinful lifestyle choices. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. We have to be conscientious of what we're doing. We have to be conscientious of what we're saying. We can't have no ruthless disposition about ourselves and say that we are a child of the king. Yes, we yes. just can't do it. Hallelujah. How are you going to be a part of building God's kingdom when all you're doing is tearing people down? Right. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Making, his, making his word both extended mercy and demanded holiness. Yes. That's what God was doing when he told them go and sin no more. Yes. He, he knew that they wouldn't be able to uphold in a sinful, sinless perfection. But what Jesus wanted them to do, he wanted them to be able to extend themselves merciful mm -hmm. and demand holiness within their own self. Uh, yes. That's all God requires of us. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus has always been the perfect balance between grace and truth. Yes. He's always been the perfect balance between grace and truth, brothers and sisters. And uh, Jesus just yeah. want, and Jesus just wants us to, to, to ask for forgiveness. For the things that we have done. Yes, he wants us yes, to forgive yes. and hallelujah. And come to the expectation that we will not continue in the same path of rebelliousness. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Those who know God very well and those who know God's love would naturally want to overcome sin. Yes. That's all this is about. Hallelujah. Two people, hallelujah, have sinned. One, the Bible didn't speak of. But the other, the Bible clearly made a point that, hey, this man was in his infirmity because he had sinned. Jesus knew he had sinned because Jesus is omnipotent. Mm -hmm. He knows all things. Yes. Hallelujah. But then the other woman, they come to him. Jesus knows she has sinned, but Jesus had mercy on her. Yes. Brothers and sisters, all I'm telling you, if you allow yourself, if you allow yourself, to be forgiven within yourself. Yes. Ask God to forgive yes, you. Yes, yes. Repent and turn from your ways. Mm -hmm. Jesus will be merciful upon you. Yes, Jesus will. will be kind. Yes, Hallelujah. Will. It should be it should be the goal of every Christian to go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. God, hallelujah, desires for each of us <coughs> is to be holy as he is holy. Yes, yes we still sin sometimes, but sin is no longer a lifestyle choice of mine. Yes. Brothers and sisters, sin is no longer a lifestyle choice 
of yours. Mm -hmm. Today, hallelujah, I'm decreeing and I'm declaring that I'm going to manifest myself within the holiness and the righteousness of God. Yes. I'm going to take the opportunity this morning, hallelujah, to have a do-over within myself. Yes. I'm going to take the opportunity to become a better man today than I was yesterday. Yes. Hallelujah. That's all I want to do. I want to be a better Christian. I want to be a rep better representation uh, of who Jesus Christ is today than I was yesterday. Yes. And tomorrow than I was today. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus. So go, brothers and sisters. Go, sisters. Go and sin no more. Go get your hallelujah. New Year do over. Hallelujah. I know my brother in law, Evangelist Dunn, always saying he want all of his stuff. Hallelujah. Yes. So yes. I'm going to tell my brother, go get all your stuff. Yes. Go get all your stuff in holiness. Yes. Go get all your stuff in righteousness. Glory yes. be to God. Hallelujah. Go get your new heart. Go get your new mind. Mm -hmm. Go get your new praise. Yes. Go get your new worship. Yes. Hallelujah. Go get your new prayer life. Hallelujah. Yes. Go get your new glory. Go yes. get your new life. Yes. Go get your new ministry. Yes. Go get your new wife. Yes. Go get your new child. Yes. Go get your new family. Yes. Go get your new job. Yes. Go get your new home. Go get your new pastor. Yes. Go get your new church. Mm -hmm. Go get your new dream. Yes. Go get your new vision. Hallelujah. Go get your new business, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Go get all that your heart desire yes. in the word of God, yes. in the will of God. Yes. Go get it because you have a new makeover this morning. Yes. You hallelujah. have a new do-over this morning. Hallelujah. You're not the same, hallelujah. hallelujah. Not only let your mind be renewed in Christ, hallelujah, and become a new creature in him, holy, saved, sanctified, yes. and holy yes. ghost filled, yes. but let your entire body, let your entire right. being yes. be renewed. Let your entire being be transformed this morning, not by the renewing of your mind, but by the renewing of the Holy Spirit through your mind. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. That you know, that you know, that you know, that you're saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled. Let the power that exemplifies in you touch somebody. Let somebody yeah. see you walking. Let somebody see you talking different. Let somebody see you understanding yeah. Yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah. Let someone see you having patience different. Let somebody see you loving a little bit different. Let somebody see, see yes. you being a little bit more respectful. Yeah. Be decent in the body of Christ. Yeah. Be honorable in the body of Christ. Yeah. Be good to yourself. Be kind yeah. to your body. God has given you a do-over in this new year. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you. I said, thank you, Jesus. For your thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a new year, yeah. brothers and sisters. It's a new year. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's a new year. Yes. Yeah. New beginnings. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So start afresh in this year. Hallelujah. Beginning those things which be behind you. The word of God said, press on yes. to the mark of a higher calling yes. in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory Hallelujah. Be to God. Thank you, Jesus. God didn't only give Thank you, Jesus. these two people a do-over. No, no. But he gave a do-over to one of God's greatest soldiers. Mm. Saul on the road to Damascus. Mm. Uh -huh. This man was killing his people. Mm. Killing Christians. Persecuting Christ. Yes. And God asked him, one day when he knocked him off his high horse. Mm -hmm. See, many people are on their high horse. Uh -huh. But God will give you a humbling experience. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. I know that man at yes, the pool of Bethesda. He may have been somebody. Mm -hmm. High and lifted up. Mm -hmm. He may have been a dignitary. But some sin he did got him knocked off his high horse. Yes. Glory right. be to God. That woman, hallelujah, that was caught in adultery, she may have been beautiful and gorgeous, but because she was beautiful and gorgeous, and because she gave herself to men, God had to bring her down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it threw it all. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory yeah. be to God. They learned to lean on Jesus. Yeah, they learned to trust in him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul said, hey, I'm the chief of the sinners. Yeah. Glory be to God. But he 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 got up blind. Mm. Hallelujah. Ah. And started on a new journey for Christ. Yeah. Yes. Oh, brothers yes. and sisters, if you got to have a, have a Democritus Road experience, and you got to have an experience in you this morning that will make you cripple or lame, I would rather go into heaven living mm. than go to hell hole. Yeah. I'd rather go to hell yeah. blind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'd rather go to heaven blind than to go to hell. My hallelujah. God. With all my vision. Glory my be to God. God. I'd rather go mingle and maim. Hallelujah. Cripple or crazy into heaven than to go to hell in one whole piece. Yeah. Glory yeah. be to God. I want my do over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank, thank you this morning. Thank you, for Jesus. doing me over this morning. Thank hallelujah. you, brother. For making me whole, Lord God. Yes. For giving me one more day. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I say thank you, Father. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Glory Jesus. be to God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for this blessing. Thank you, Lord. This morning of your word. We know, Father yes. God, that you are an awesome God. Yes. And Father God, I know that you love me. Yes. Because you gave your best for me. Yes. Oh, Lord God, let me give my best for you in return. Yes. Let me show, Lord God, appreciation. Yes, Lord. Father, you said in your word, if you know how to give gifts here on earth mm -hmm. to your children, how much more do you think the Father in heaven will hey, give hey. us? Lord, you have given me the best you have got. Yes. You've given me all of you, Lord God. Yes. And all I want to do right now from this point on is give you the best of me. Yes. Lord, if my mind go to the left, straighten me back up, Father God. Yes. If my step go off the beacon path, oh, Father God, Lord God, steer me on the right road. Yes. Hallelujah. In the direction I should be able to go. Lord God, if my tongue get beside itself, Lord God, yield my tongue, Lord God, Hallelujah. and yield my members within me. Yes. yes. Oh, Father God, that we'll be able, Lord God, to let somebody know, Father God, that we are a child of the Most High God. Yes. Lord, we thank you. Thank and you. And we praise you right thank now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father God, the doors of the church are open. Hallelujah. There may be somebody right now. Hallelujah. Who don't know my God, mm. the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, mm. the giver of all good and perfect gift yes. in the pardons of their sins. Yes. I'll be remiss to shut this down this morning to give you an opportunity to come to Jesus. Yes. Just as you are. Hallelujah. Weary, wounded, and sad. Mm -hmm. But you can find a sweet old resting place mm -hmm. in my Lord and Savior, yes, Jesus Christ. Lord. You can find yourself, hallelujah, with peace of mind. Yes. You can find yourself this morning in light yes. in the midst of darkness. Yes. All you got to do is come to Jesus. Yes. Right now. Right now. They say, come while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Yes, Lord. Come while you have a time, opportunity to give your life to Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. For soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. I want you to be in that number. My God. When that trumpet sound, I want you to know that My you know God. that you know. My God. One day you're going to take your wings My God. and fly away. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come to Jesus right now. Hallelujah. If your life is in order. And you know somebody whose life isn't in order. Oh. Pray right now that they have a do-over. Yes. Pray that they come to Jesus. Intercede for somebody right now. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, I thank you right now, Lord God, that somebody somewhere may have said, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, give me a do-over right now. Give me an opportunity to have your way, Lord God, in me. Lord God, I just thank you and I praise you right now for the angels in heaven are rejoicing for another saved soul. Glory be to God. Lord God, that person who needs financial blessing, that person who needs that healing, Lord God, that person who needs that deliverance, oh Father God, Lord God, set them free. Set them free, Lord God, that they'll be able to come, Lord God. And when you come, they'll find, you, they'll, you'll find them, Lord, in the temple, like you found the man at Bethesda, in the temple. Hallelujah. We thank you, and we praise you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God the Father bless you and keep you is my prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Give Hallelujah. God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus.